Assalamualaikum man. Hi, I'm Seizuddin. I'm Miss Pro. Today we'll be de demonstrating an experiment entitled Measurement of Basic Constant. Length and weight for the experiment one. Alright, so in this experiment we have four objectives. The first one is to determine the volume of three different types of tube with vernier caliper gauge. The second one is to determine the thickness of wires, tubes, and coins using micrometer screw gauge. The third one is to determine the thickness of the plate and the radius of the curvature of watch glasses with the spherometer. spherometer. All right. And finally, to determine the weight of different coins using manual precision balance. So here are the coins, right? All right, shall we start? Yes. Okay, so we shall start with the first one, which is to determine the volume of tubes using... The vernier caliper. Right. So, for the vernier caliper, there are a few parts that we need to know, which is that it has two jaws. This is to measure the inner in the diameter and this one is to measure the outer diameter and then it have two scale which is the main scale and the venous scale okay so let's measure the this tube all right so the main scale here shows 2.1 centimeter and the venous scale coincides at around Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, about 8. So the, so the reading here shows that the thickness of the tube is 2.18 centimeters. Okay. Okay. So shall we proceed? Yes. Alright. So. The second objective is to determine the thickness of wires, cubes, and coins using micrometer screw gauge. Alright, so you need to know the parts of micrometer screw gauge first. Okay, so in this instrument, we have anvil, spindle, uh, main scale, vernier scale, thimble, and ratchet knob. I will demonstrate to you how to determine its thickness of wire. Right? So just put the sample here between anvil and spindle and then turn the timbre. Okay. Just turn it. Okay. And then when you when it's getting close, turn the ratchet knob until you hear the click. Yeah. Here's the click. Alright, so we have, we have yeah. reached the desired thickness. Okay, so what is the reading here? The reading is zero point five. Okay. So the main scale here is zero point five. How about the vernier scale? The vernier scale is ten. Okay. Uh, so the total is. Okay. So the total here is. 0 0.5 plus the 10 or 0 0.1 which is 0 0.6 so the thickness of this wire is 0 0.6 millimeter observe all right so let's proceed with the third objective okay. all right so this is called spherometer. It consists of the static legs, there are three static legs, and one movable leg in the middle. And then the reading here is shown at the dial gauge. All right, so before we use spherometer, we must make sure that this spherometer is free from zero error. So to calibrate it first, we put it on flat surface, all right. Just put it, okay, and then turn the dial gauge until until the until the arrow points at zero, okay. 
let's see. So turn it. Okay. Turn it, turn it, turn it. Okay. So it should reach zero. Okay. Okay, just a little bit more and here. So it's about zero error. Don't worry if it's not precisely zero. Okay. So we have calibrated it now and now we can measure the thickness. So let's take this watch glass. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay. So just put this spherometer on top of this watch glass slowly. Okay. Alright, so as you can see, alright, so as you can see, the arrow moves clockwise, so we have to take the readings in black. Okay. And also, I would like to point out that there are two arrows here. The smaller one repre represents reading for whole number, while the larger arrow represents reading for two decimal places. So together, the values here is, sh is shown in millimeters. So, what do you think is the reading here? Okay. I think... Uh, I think it ex exits zero. Yes. So, the whole number is... Okay, so... I think the whole number exits zero. So, the reading for whole number exits is 10. ten. How about the larger arrow? Where does it point? It's about, what do you think, 3.3? 3.3 Or 3.2 Okay So 1, 2 Okay, so the reading here shown is 10.32 millimeter. So, the sp spherometer shows that the thickness of this glass watch is 10.32 millimeters. <coughs> right? Okay, okay. So we, we also need to calculate the radius of curvature. So, this is the value for H. For the value of A, just take the ruler and measure the two points here. Okay? So, based on the ruler, the, the, uh, the legs are 4.4 centimeters apart. Okay? So, so, that's the value of A. Okay? Alright, so finally, the last objective is to, is to determine the weight of coins using manual precision balance. So this is the manual precision balance. Alright. It consists of balance at left and right. To determine whether it's balanced or not, we look at the, at, at the middle mark here. So it's kind of wobbling around but it seems to wobble at the left so in case it stops if it points at the left it shows that the the left part of the balance is lighter so we need to we need to adjust it right here okay okay so let's say the this this has been at balanced state right okay so to measure anything before before you take anything make sure you use the tweezer don't take it directly with your hand okay use the tweezers to take the coin put it here okay so now the balance is pointing towards the right side so it shows that the right side is lighter so we need to balance it with the weight here so here are the 2 gram weight okay so just put it slowly okay it's still light at the right side then add some more weights okay so it starts to move okay 
Okay. Sometimes need, you guys need to wait. But assuming that it is already balanced, so let's say that it is balanced. So the coin here has the weight of has the mass of four grams. Okay. So to make it more precise, we also have small plates here, polygonal plates. Okay. Each of these plates have mass of less than one gram. So if you put it here and then it's balanced, then you will need to measure the the weight of these plates using electronic balance. Okay. Okay, next is the appendix of the experiment. So in this experiment, we have four objectives. So for the first objective is you need to measure two different tubes, tube 1 and tube 2, with the height and diameter, and have a three reading, and finally, you take the average reading. For the second objective is the thickness of the wire, cubes, and thread. means that there will be three different items, and three reading of each of these thickness of the items and you take the average and then for the third one is the radius of the curvature of the plate using the spirometer so you have two plate big and small plate where there are surface of concave and convex means top and bottoms of the plate and you will be reading a and h value for three readings and you take the average okay all so right so in order to calculate the radius of curvature, here is the formula where r equals to a square plus h square over 2h. h here represents the thickness that we measured using spherometer and a is the distance between two measuring points. Alright? Okay. So. And then the last one, the fourth objective is the weight driven of coin using manual position balance where two types of coins and then take three readings of mass in gram and then finally you take the average all right so have fun experimenting i'm saizuddin and i'm miss flo thank you bye